Project 710, we hope to achieve really two things. The, our first goal was to educate the public about green building, then also to build a greenhouse and then sell it and use that profit from the sale to build more sustainable green businesses. I kind of look at this project as good green, to build green, to make some green, to give back to green. And the cool thing about this house, about Project 710, is literally if you can turn a switch on, if you can flush a toilet, if you can walk on something, if you can feel it, there's a green story to literally every single choice of material and item in this house. The bedding, the, the furniture, the fabric, the wood, uh, the decking, every choice that we made was put through an environmentally conscious filter. All of the wood that is used for the framing of the house is either FSC, Forest Stewardry Council, or it is recycled wood. The parallel beams that you see that make up the ceiling and that make the eating counter and also the stair treads are all made out of recycled chips of wood that have been glued together. One of the great design elements of this house is this solar walkway that connects the two ends of the uh, upstairs part of the house. These solar panels will produce about four and a half kilowatts of power, which pretty much should su supply sufficient energy for a family of four for a whole year without uh, any electrical bill at all. So this is the master bathroom and every part of it's sustainable. The wood in the cabinets is coconut wood, that's sustainable, they're low flow uh, faucets. This is a recycled porcelain tile and a dual flush toilet. So many of the people that joined us in um, the creation of this house are huge mainstream American companies and you wouldn't think of them as necessarily being green, but they have really strong green divisions that they're trying to develop and promote. When you go to buy a product, you have a choice. You can buy a low flow faucet or you can buy an Energy Star appliance which uses less energy. It's like when computers were almost too expensive for the masses to buy and then all of a sudden they changed over and everybody, any income could have one. Now that's how greenhouses are. The technology is really here, so there's really no reason to hold back anymore. It's here. For me, being involved in this project has been very rewarding. I'm just grateful I got to do it.